everybody, welcome back, Devin, the OG, the original Grognard here, and we are continuing my Fury Football playthrough, my 18 double round elimination. We are in the third game of the series, and we are looking at the Minnesota Chill versus the Pacific Dreadnoughts. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the teams real quick. Uh, for the Minnesota Chill, uh, they're going to go ahead and get the ball first, so they will they will start off the drives, and they are led by uh, Pernicious <laughs> Williams, um, kind of a, a, a average, uh, well-rounded offensive coach. I mean, in the white zone, he 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 likes the pass, and in the defense, he he likes the run. Uh, and let's take a look at him on defense. On defense, yeah, he really loves to go with the react and the fury. So this is going to be kind of a wild defensive game for him. Uh, take a look at the Pacific Dreadnoughts. They are led by a Cedric Driver. Again, uh, kind of this, well, pretty much almost the same as Pernicious Williams on the offense. A mix of uh, pass and run depending on which zone you're in. However, on the defense, oh, Cedric loves the the gotcha, the react, and the fury. Yeah, this is going to be a wild defensive game. Uh, as far as the two teams are concerned, this is going to come down. I think most of this is going to come down to if the Minnesota offense can get through the uh, the Pacific Dreadnoughts defense. Um, just suffice to say, the Pacific Dreadnoughts offense, eh, nothing to write home about. Uh, they can pick up some yardage, but they also can lose some yardage. Uh, their, their star back, yeah, incomplete or an intercepted on the pass. So, eh, probably don't want to pass too much. Long gain on the run, though, so he's a good runner. He's just, he's just incompetent when it comes to, to the pass, pass play. And the, uh, the, the Minnesota Chills, their defense is, uh, yeah, porous. <laughs> just, just leave it at that. So I think most of the excitement of the game is going to come down to the uh, Chills offense and the Dreadnoughts defense. I think that's where a majority of the game is going to be focused on. Um, if we focus on the uh, Dreadnought offense or the Chills defense, yeah, they're going to be giving up yards. And they're going to be getting picked off. And yeah, we're not going to be seeing too much. So it's going to come down to if the uh, Pacific defense can hold off the Chills offense. So, but like I said, offense is, or the uh, Chill is uh, uh, taking control of the ball. And let's just go ahead and walk right into this. Okay, so first off, we're going to go with the pass play. And let's see, what do we got? A three is going to be a react. So pass on pass. Uh, we've got a 19 for the pass on pass. For the pass is an incomplete. Just shut the first drive down with no problem. Batted it out of the air. Boosh, you're done. All right, now <laughs> that seems to that seems to happen. It, it, either the first play of every game I've done, it's it's either a, a touchdown or a turnover, one of the two. Um, so we're going into the Pacific Dreadnoughts' first possession. Uh, let's see, Cedric Driver is going to go for the pass, and Pernicious Williams is oh, that's going to be a Fury defense. So what are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at eighteen on the Fury. Uh, on a pass play, and it is a sack. Bam! Goes down, loses six yard or six markers. Ooh, loses five markers from the sack. Sack deep, deep in the backfield. Big loss for the Dreadnoughts. All right, second down. Let's see what Cedric's going to do to try to pick up. He's going for the pass again. And Pernicious Williams is going for the Fury defense again. Uh, what do we get? We get a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, so we're looking at uh, the defensive lineman. Uh, so we got uh, Yan Hawks against the against the pass. And it's going to be a sack. Oh, but a possible incomplete on the square fury. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. It, it was, we got, we got the fury dice came through. So it, instead of a sack, it's an incomplete. Well, honestly, that's not bad. Cause I, I mean, it still stops the drive. Although, you know, if you'd have picked up the sack, you'd have driven them back a bit further. So now we're looking at third down and very long for the Pacific dreadnoughts. Uh, they're going with a run play this time. And Pernicious Williams is going with a run defense. 
Well, they picked that one just right. So run on run. Eight is going to be offensive lineman on the run. And we're looking, oh, short loss. <laughs> Problem. Yeah, Laurel Admiral. Yeah, he can pick up a touchdown or a sack, but on, on the run, short, short loss or fumble. So it is going to be a short loss. How much do they lose? Hopefully they don't get pushed back into the end zone. Nope, they lose three. One, two, three. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible positioning. That's maybe, maybe some, maybe, maybe Cedric can come up with something. Let's see what he pulls this time. He's going for a pass play. Bet she's going to try to do that long bomb. And Pernicious Williams is going for the Fury defense. Fury can, uh, the Fury can, can bite you. Uh, you're putting a lot of pressure on, but they can slide by. So what do we got? We got a 20, which is going off the star back. And it is a six. And this is a pass. Uh, oh, 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 oh. It's either going to be not, not. I told you we don't want to go with the pass to Ken Wayne Canyon. Uh, it's either an incomplete or an intercepted. However, the Fury dice is a square, which this is, and I rolled a six, so it is intercepted, which ends the down. And let's see, I believe an interception just picks it up at the the scrimmage line. Da, 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 da. Yep, original line of scrimmage. Well, that shut that pos whoop, that shut that possession down real quick. I told you the uh, the it was going to come down to uh, the Chills offense against the uh, Pacific's defense. Now, hopefully, maybe we can see some action here. Well, we've been seeing some action. We got the second down or second possession of the Minnesota Chill, and Pernicious Williams is going for a pass. And Cedric is oh he's going for the Fury defense. This is a, this is the clash of the Fury defense coaches. Uh, we've got a six that's going to be the defensive line. Davy Jones, <laughs> love that name, on the pass and it's a sack. All right, so bam, they go ahead and stuff the star back before he can get the pass off, and they stuff him for five yards. So we're seeing a lot of defensive action stopping the other team. Uh, and I kind of had a feeling this was gonna this was gonna happen this way. So second down, we got a three. That's gonna be a pass play, and Cedric Driver is going for the gotcha. All right, so it's gonna be a pass on pass. Uh, nineteen. Uh oh. Uh, nineteen on the react goes to the star back. It is a pass play on the Starback for Tristan Snow. It is going to be either a touchdown, but we do have the possible intercepted. It's a square. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, came through. Picked off. Intercepted. And the ball is turned over again. This is a defensive smorgasbord going on here. So now we're into... Uh, Atlanta or the Pacific's <laughs> Treadnought's second possession. Uh, and let's see, we're going to go ahead and pick up with an audible. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Cedric does like to play the gotcha. Uh, it's a six. No, he doesn't. He's going Fury. So uh, we're going to go with the run. Yes, we're going to go with the run. We do not want to go with the pass. We're going to go run against the uh, Fury defense. It is an 11, which is going to be offensive lineman Bobby Ensign. At the run, and it's going to be a short gain. Hey, that's all they need. They just need to pick up a few yards. They're really close. They're not going to get in, but they will put themselves in better position. They're going to pick up three markers. One, two, three. Lowered the shoulder and bowled right through the center. Um, all right, so we're got, looking at second down. Cedric goes for another audible. And Pernicious Williams is going with the pass defense. So uh, Cedric will go ahead and call the audible for a run. Uh, 19 versus the pass defense. 19 run versus the pass defense. Oh, let's go ahead and move the card up so you can actually see it. It's a long gain, and that is probably going to put him in the end zone because long is 3d6. And that's 10 marker points, so they make it in. Boom! First score of the game. Pacific picks up six. I'm actually surprised Pacific was the first, first one to score. I really thought uh, I thought the Minnesota Chill had it there. Um, so let's see. Go for the conversion. 
They're going to go three points, so we'll put three markers back in the orange zone. Cedric is going to go for an audible in the orange. And Pernicious Williams, I have a feeling we're going to see a... Nope, we, I thought we were going to see a Fury, but we end up with a run. So with the audible, we're going to do a pass audible against the run defense. We've got a one, which is going to be the defensive line. Uh, and that is against the pass. Defensive line against the pass. Oh, there we go. Takam Winter stuffs him down. No gain. Takes him down at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Third down. Oh, no. That was that was a conversion. That, uh, that, that, that turns the ball over. Uh, we are now into third possession. First down. Let's see what the Minnesota Chill can push their way back up field. They're going with a five, which is a run offense. And Cedric Driver is going to throw the react defense at them. So run versus react. And we've got a five, which is going to be the defensive line, which uh, let's hope we can do this. Defense against a run. Uh, it's going to be a medium game with the decider dice of a short loss, but it is not a short loss. Uh, so it is going to be a medium gain, and the chill will pick up 2d6 markers. And they pick up 5, which is respectable. Doesn't quite get them to the 50-yard line yet, but it is second town. They still got a long way to go. Not too short of a time to get there. Uh, Cedric calls the audible. Or no, Pernacious Williams calls the audible. And Cedric Driver is going to go with the React defense again. So I think uh, I think uh, we're going to go with the pass. The chill is a little bit better in the pass. So let's go with pass versus React. That's uh, going to be 14. So the React defense, 4. It's a pass, so it's going to look to number 2, which is the defensive lineman Darius Cruz. Uh, and this is a pass which is going to be intercepted or potentially a touchdown depending on the decider dice. Oh, no, look at that. The Fury dice comes through again. He needed a circle, which is a 2, 3, or 4, and the Fury and the, and the Fury dice was a 4. So almost intercepted, but he overextended and allowed the, uh, the, the, the wide end to get their hands on the ball and allows the, crew, the uh, chill to pick up a touchdown, a very long field touchdown. So let's go ahead and see what they can do for their conversion attempt. We got a five. They're going to go for a big five marker conversion. Let's see. Pernicious Williams goes ahead and throws a three, which is a pass offense against Cedric's gotcha. All right. So it's going to be a pass on pass. Uh, we got a 10, which is going to be the offensive line. Dax Evans. Uh, on the pass, and it is a touchdown or a short gain, depending on the decider dice of a square. Uh, square is a five or six, and the decider, man, we are hitting every friggin' fury dice this game. So no touchdown, but it is a short gain, which keeps the ball alive. Let's see if they can make it in on this conversion attempt. They do not. They only pick up four yards which does not get him in the end zone for the conversion. The game is tied 6-6, and we are moving into uh, the Pacific's third possession. Go ahead and do first down. Okay, Cedric, what you going to do? We're going to look at a four, which is going to be a run, a uh, run offense, and Pernicious is going to call a pass defense. Uh-oh, this is a good chance for, uh, for the Pacific to pick up some yardage. Uh, we've got a 15 on the pass defense, but it's a run, so it is going to be a medium gain. So that's good for the Pacific, and they pick up eight, which almost puts them to the 50-yard line, but not quite. Second down, and they pull a pass offense versus uh, a run defense. Uh-oh, this could be another chance for a big gain for the Pacific. 17, uh, 17, oh, there we go, right there, long gain, so that's going to be 3d6, I think uh, Pernicious may have just ended up costing, him. ooh, 12, 13, that's going to put it in, I think that may have just ended up uh, costing uh, the chill the game, they've only got uh, one attempt, one drive left, one, or, yeah, one possession left, and Pacific is now up 12 to 6, let's see how many yards they're going to go for, they're going to go for a two-point conversion, and let's see, we're going 
Uh, two is going to be another pass. Cedric has decided he likes focusing on the pass. And there's the Fury from Pernicious Williams. Knew that was going to be coming here along shortly. Uh, we've got a 16 on the Fury defense. So Fury defense, 16 against a pass. It's going to be on player five, which is going to be the offensive lineman or defensive lineman of Ice Melendez on a pass. And it's going to be a medium gain. That's going to be two dice, which is almost a guaranteed, because I can't roll. Yeah, well, there it is, two. <laughs> Picks up the two yards, puts in. Pacific now is up 14 to six. Next conversion, uh, five yards. They're going to try to give themselves a bit of a buffer there. Uh, Pacific Dreadnoughts go for the pass again. And Cedric is still, or Pernicious is still sticking with the Fury defense. Uh, we got 18, which goes straight to the card. 18 on a pass is a sack. All right, so the, the, the Fury uh, defense worked for him that time. They overwhelmed the defensive line, got in there, and smashed uh, Kenwin Cannon into the ground before he was able to pick up any yards. So that ends that possession. Now we're going into the fourth possession, fourth and final possession of the Minnesota Chill. They've got a long way to go. Uh, Pernicious Williams pulls a pass play. Cedric Driver is going with a gotcha. All right, so pass on pass. Uh, 14. We look to the pass defense, and the pass result, <laughs> oh, intercepted. Boom! That basically is going to end the game. Uh, Pacific defense, uh, or the Pacific uh, Dreadnoughts picks it up. They're already up 14-6. to six. Minnesota has no more chances of possession, and I could play it out, but there's no reason to. There's no reason to stuff the or buff the points. We're not going on a point spread or anything. It's all about the wins and losses. So, surprisingly, Pacific Dreadnoughts managed to pull this through against the Minnesota Chill. I really thought the Minnesota offense was going to was going to perform a lot better than they did. Uh, but one thing we did see is we did see the Fury dice pretty much every time that we had a Fury call, at least three quarters of the time when we had a Fury call, it came through, and that really, really did kind of throw things off for both the offense and defense. So let's go ahead and put this down on... Our double elimination, Pacific and Minnesota. The Pacific picked it up. And Minnesota will go down into the loser bracket. Uh, let's just go ahead and put the points. And just because I'm tracking the points, not that they mean anything. Pacific 14, Minnesota 6. Um, so the next team we're going to be looking at is uh, Milwaukee and Nashville. Uh, and we will get to that when we get to that. Hope everybody enjoyed. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. I'll talk to everybody later. See ya!